Hey diddly hey neighbor, it's your boy, R-Y to the A-N with the Arizona. That doesn't make sense, but uh, check out my shorts. Yeah, I copped those. We're here in uh, Brownsburg. I've never been to this one before. So, I'm expecting great things. Otherwise, I'd be soups to point, disappointed. Soups disappointed. I'm like in the zone. It's the the concentration eyes. What's this? Yo, vintage Long John Silvers. Oh. I always look for a year, but didn't have one. These cups are big. So Apollo 14, 1971. All right. So first up, I'm not getting it. The 1997. These bowl things never really sell, so I'm just not gonna get it. Hey, go, little buddy. All right, so here was this Mickey sweater, but 2XL, and I just do not like this material. This was the first Pacers piece that I uh, decided to pass on logo athletic. It's Buffalo Sabres. I just feel like no one's gonna want that. It's vintage, nonetheless. This was just funny. I've seen like posters and stuff of uh, Kramer from Seinfeld. This was like super clean Detroit Lions, but it also has a stain. You can't really see it, but it was a vintage piece. This was uh, early like this. Real women don't have hot flashes. We had power surges. So it's one of those cheesy shirts. Gotta love the Mickey sweater. This was like screen printed on, but it was a pro player. I just wanted to pass on. I don't really like the screen print. This is a sick, sick sweatpants, but super small. Chalk line jacket, I know, I know. Super cool, right? It's 10 bucks, and I'm gonna be getting all this stuff for less than that, so. And it's a youth large, so it's super small. All right, so these are gonna be the ones we are getting. I found this, I will fix this. It's not very bad, I'm gonna wash it, but it's a couple bowls, vintage, small bag. I'm gonna get this guy. I'm gonna get this tie-dye shirt. It says it was made in Australia. Oops. Made in Australia. Check this out. It's like a crocodile. I'm getting this guy. And then I'm getting the little puppies. Oh, look at them. So get them vintage. I gotta get this guy. Vintage Cowboys shirt from 1996. So, I get this guy all of this. Guess what I got? It rhymes with this orange bag. It's an orange bag and it's full of stuff. Anyway, uh, quick updates because I got to get going. Um, there's a lady in there that was like, Look at this, Lauren! <laughs> Lauren, look at. I was dying. When I was in the shirt section, this guy comes up to me and he's like, did you see this Andre the Giant shirt? I was like, that's cool, man. <laughs> Another update. Um, if you guys remember in the episode where me and Matt were in Fountain Square, he sent me a message like two days later. That restaurant was closed down due to health concerns. So glad I didn't die. <laughs> now we're going to Avon, which will be 15 minutes from here. So going south and we won't have enough time originally i wanted to go to kokomo what's up y'all we're here it's right at avon barksdale's house goodwill shout out to the wire what is this 1984 oh boy i don't know if i'm actually gonna get this but i love This is gonna be what I'm not getting. So first up, Purdue 2001. That's just not gonna sell. Cause I know, don't like the bowl stuff. This was kind of a unique one. The Avon softball. Spring Champions 98. So that's kind of cool. Um, Pacer shirt from 2000. Shawswick 96 basketball champs. 
Here we go. This IPD shirt is sick. It's a 2XL, but it's nothing on the back or whatever. Plus it's a 2X. Um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2001. Got this Mammoth Cave shirt that clearly has no mammoths, just some mallards and ducks. So, gotta not get it because they're liars. So. Northwestern, I think this is 1996. So, passing on that one. And then, Tech Mobile Text. This is kind of cool. Cold stuff never sells. Alright, so we're going to be passing on the cup just because it's just so tiny, but it's kind of cool. And then found the Operation Desert Form hat, but passing on that as well. So here's what we're getting. This is either a bowling bag or like a, I don't really know what it is, but the United States Olympic Training Center, Colorado Springs. This is kind of sick, so I'm getting that. This is worth it the whole way. Gosh. Attention Google Shoppers, the time is 6.57. Look at this tag. This is kind of cool. You don't know me, Federal Witness Protection Program. So, coat shirt is basically all. It's basically all it's worth it. Just like that, we out now. I bought my stuff and I'm on the way out. And you're like, you know, where you like kind of like you're just walking and you just see something, you're like, so like, this isn't crazy, but I saw this and it, I was looking at the hats, I didn't see anything, right? But then there's, I can't believe I missed this. I saw it hanging. It has one of those like double, oh my gosh, how did I miss this? It, maybe they put it out late and I have no idea, but I just, I went right back into the line, like after they're, they're closed. I don't know if I mentioned that, but they were closed and I already bought my stuff and I was like, hello, <laughs> I got to go get that. So I got the snap back, those two shirts. Um, oh, and then I passed on the bag only because I just kind of realized it's a bowling bag. So it's probably Olympic bowling, and I just no one's gonna buy that. Uh, it may be vintage, but just because it's vintage doesn't mean it will sell. With any of the hats that I buy, um, I, I wash them, obviously, right? So we don't wanna uh, give you something that might have lice or just be dirty. So I usually wash the hats in the dishwasher um, or in the washer, and then I just reform them, which is, do a pretty good job of that. Uh, but this time I kind of messed up, so I figured I would show you what will happen. If you want to wash your hats or whatever, um, <laughs> make sure it's just by itself. Um, I washed it with a red hat, and uh, so this is the Chicago Bulls. But as you notice, a lot of the red was bled onto the white. Um, and then you'll see the, uh, the inside is all pink. So... Um, the inside and I tried to use some stuff called I think it's Carbana or something like that So it's like this stuff called Carbana or whatever. It usually works pretty well um, <clears throat> And taking colors that have bled into the item so I thought that would work So I got some of that, but I don't know if you can see but now it's got green stuff. It's got like gold stuff so um, and then when I put it in the washer a second time it ripped the uh <laughs> so you could say things are going great but uh it's a it's a 99 cent uh lesson that's what my father would say so my recommendation get like a get like a pot of water use some dish soap throw your hat in there use like a toothbrush and some soap and then just kind of lightly do that that's what I would do um, you get more spot treatment, better per square inch cleaning of sorts. So um, instead of just kind of throwing it in a washer. So um, yeah, 